Hey guys, it's Victor, give me a break man, give me a flake man, here with a little video on something called cultural appropriation, and it's something I've never encountered in Japanese, I've never heard anyone talk about this. We're going to look it up in the dictionary right now to see if it's even in it. This is a fate major uh, dictionary here, this is called alc.com, it's only, you have to be able to read Japanese, culture, read Japanese to use it, but cultural appropriation. And it doesn't even appear here. Did I spell it right? Yes. Yeah, it's not even in this dictionary. Uh, listen, let me see if I can find it. Cultural, cultural appropriation, ego, and Nihongo de. Nihongo de in Japanese. Let's see if we can find something that explains it. Mina, do you in, do moimasu? People, what do people think about it? Oh, this is on Lang 8. Uh, so people are talking about it, and I guess they're explaining it. Yo, Suru, Ichikoto, you, America, Jin, ga, Nihong, de wa nai Nihong. Oh yeah, so for example, they're talking, they're talking about Americans who put on, who <laughs> get Japanese names um, because they think it's cute or beautiful. Uh, what do you think about things like that? Now, that is not, from what I understand, exactly the same as cultural appropriation. So from what I understand, reading this site about news, cultural appropriation is, is usually only used when it's a, a main, mainstream um, society Let's say, let's keep it easy. Borrows or steals from a, mi a minority, uh, or I shouldn't say minor society, but a, a less advantaged uh, society. So a dominant group uh, takes something from a minority to make it easy, okay? Now, the reason I'm talking about this today is that you may have seen this video. You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Why? Because it's my culture. You know what Do you know what? So this, uh, this happened, I think, in San Francisco and some University. The, the details are not that important. People are arguing on whether the woman was an employee, or whether they're students. It really doesn't matter. But the issue is that the black woman here, uh, for lack of a, a better word, I'm going to say black. <laughs> the black woman here is, uh, is basically scolding this white guy uh, who would be in the slang referred to as a wigger, I believe. Uh, a white guy who tries to dress black or so. Uh, yeah, you know this word. It, that, that's I think that's a that's an insult, an insulting word. So I, I suppose I shouldn't use that. But but too late, I already used it. Uh, anyway, this this black woman tells this white guy that he cannot wear dreadlocks because that's her culture. And then they go into a discussion of where it actually came from, and she tries to make him look, uh, <laughs> tries to make him feel stupid or look stupid by saying. You know, you don't even know where Egypt is from. Do you say it's from Egypt? But you do you know where Egypt is from? And she's like, she's she's kind of grabbing at him. Some people, some people claim that this is all scripted and it's bullshit. But the uh, the real question is, you know, how how bad is it, and where do we draw the line? Because as a lot of you know, living in Japan, a lot of a lot of the people who watch this channel are very interested in Asian culture and specifically Japanese culture. And a lot of you, even in the comments, have like these fake Japanese names. Um, of course, the question is, are you, would that be considered cultural appropriation? Uh, when, when, I guess, non-Japanese uh, try to be more Japanese, uh, we call them weeabos, weeaboos, which is why I mentioned the Uyghur word, another insulting word. Uh, you know, people who really want to be Japanese, they would call them weeaboos. Um, is it cultural appropriation and where does it stop? Because so much of our cultures are just so mixed right now. Like what, what would be my cultural uh, appropriation? I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got a mix of German, Italian, let's see, I think it, uh, in order of strength would be proven Indian, Italian, Spanish, German, Arab blood in me, you know? What am I allowed to? What What am I allowed to do? What am I not allowed to do? According to this, and of course, American uh, 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 Peruvian Indians originally came from Asians that came over the Bering Strait hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years ago. Does that give me an advantage? What is a appropriation? Is it silly? Uh, do we? Is it? Is it another distraction that takes away from the real problem of racism and such things? And a lot. I know. I know a lot of white. The reason I'm mentioning this is because a lot of so well so called. <laughs> White people will say, "Well, you know, if you're a if you're a black person with straight hair, then isn't that cultural pro appropriation? Or if you're an Asian wearing a suit, shouldn't you wearing a be wearing a, a kimono? Isn't that cultural appropriation?" And I guess that the answer is no. Uh, cultural appropriation, I think, is is only, uh, I guess, insulting or damaging, or even considered cultural appropriation if it's if it's done from a dominant group to a to a minority. So it's one of those things 
where it's almost a little, it's a little bit like like uh, saying that white discrimination doesn't exist. You know, if you're a white man, people discriminate you against you. It's not the same. It doesn't doesn't really count um, because whites have been in power for so long. So it's that kind of situation. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is this just a silly distraction, or is it is it a really a really a problem? Oh, and another reason this is considered a problem is because. And this I do believe. Uh, back in the day, whites, uh, we'll, we'll say whites because they were the, the, the most dominant um, force, I guess, a group. They would basically steal things from minorities and make them popular and then benefit from them. Uh, a lot of it financially. For example, rock and roll. Blacks were some of the originators of rock and roll. But, you know, the, the white culture of America didn't want to see black singers uh, on, uh, or, or hear their music, so they would get whites to basically replicate the black sound, and the whites would make all the money, and the black musicians wouldn't make a dime. So in cases like that, isn't that is harmful? I can see that. I don't know if that's that much of a an issue today, though. I've seen uh, I've seen things as recently as Madonna, you know, stealing the voguing thing and making voguing popular and selling her albums on voguing, and that's originally apparently a Latino or black. Thing. Anyway, what do you guys think? It's an interesting topic. Uh, look forward to comments and interaction. Try to keep it clean, and any any outright racist remarks will be deleted, and I will not even comment to you. But I do appreciate if you uh, try to try to um, for those of you who are interested, try to address this problem intelligently. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.